what you guys got another video on how to back up and clone your SD card. Now, whatever reason you may have for backing up or cloning your SD card, maybe you have a little device like this, which has all of your retro games on it. And of course, this has an operating system on it. You may want to protect that micro SD card because of the actual build that runs this actual device. If this gets corrupted, you won't have any sort of backup for it. So it's always advisable to back up your micro SD cards here. You can see this one has two of them. One of them is the operating system with some games on it. And the other one is a storage card with loads of games on it as well. So I'm going to back up both of these. And sometimes these devices have a micro SD card that doesn't have the best quality. Now, this one is not too bad, but some of them do have uh, generic cards in them and they're not very reliable and they can fail. So it's always advisable to make a, a backup image of your actual card. And that way you can put it onto a new card. So this is what we're going to use right here. It's basically just a micro SD card uh, reader. We can put it in here and then plug it into our computer. And what this is going to do is allow us to read what is on the card. And we also want to be able to clone it or even back up all the data. So this is what we got here. You can use many different types of these. You can use something from Ugreen like this one right here. There's plenty of them out there on the market. I've got two brand new cards. One is a 64 gig, which is the one that come with the unit. And I wanted to uh, change it for a Samsung card. So I'm going to plug this into my computer. And what we're going to do next is go to a website to download some software so we can clone this. You can see the drive right here. It's given us a drive letter of D. And this is all the information. This is where all of the operating system is and also all of the ROMs for that device. So I'm going to make a quick clone of this micro SD card. So we're going to use Win32 Disk Imager. You can use quite a variety of different software that will do exactly the same thing. This is free software. And we're going to use this to create an image. So let's go ahead and create a shortcut here and install this onto the PC. I'm running Windows 10 here, but it works with Windows 11 as well. And this is the software. It's pretty basic. But as you can see, we've got a device here, which is our drive D. Make sure you've selected the right drive. And we have a browse folder here so we can get the image file. So what we're going to do here is we're going to locate a place where we want to store our image. Now you need to give that uh, image a name. You can see disk image. So that star dot image is what it's going to be, the extension. So we're going to call it uh, Ambenic. Uh, space uh, RG35XX space pro or dash if you want to, whatever you want to call yours, you can name it whatever you like. But that's what we're going to call ours. I might even put dot IMG on the end there so we can uh, name that file exactly how we want it. So that's what our file is. This will let us create an image of what's on that micro SD card, and that's what we're calling it. And it's going to be stored in our documents area there. We we'll click read and it's now going to read that micro SD card and create an image of it and store it in our documents folder. That's exactly what it's doing right here. It's going to take a bit of time because there's a lot of data on that card and it needs to read and write the data to an image. It should look something like this and we should say read successful. And if we go to our documents folder right now, we'll see that we have just created an Ambenic dash rg35xx-pro.image file. Now I'm going to put a new drive in. This is the Evo Select drive here. It's from Samsung, and I'm going to create a bootable image on this here with what we've just backed up. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to need this right here. So I'm going to remove the image that we had here and put this to one side, or we can continue to use this micro SD card for something else, or we can continue to use it in our device. And if it fails, we'll have a copy of it on this Samsung uh, actual micro SD card here. So, or we can swap it out completely. It's entirely up to you what you're doing it for. So let's plug in that blank micro SD card from Samsung into the computer. And it's give us a device letter of E this time. 
Now we're going to browse and select the image that we just created right here. And this is the image we created earlier on. And now we need to go right. And what this is going to do is write that image that we just backed up to our E drive. And you've guessed it, our E drive is our Samsung blank drive that we've just taken out the packet. And it's now going to clone our Ambonek uh, image that we created earlier over to the Samsung uh, micro SD card. So we're going to let that do its thing. It will take a bit of time, so be patient. And we should get a message saying write successful, and that means it's successfully cloned our micro SD card image over to our new micro SD card. And that means I'll have the originals and I'll have cloned copies on micro SD cards from Samsung. And I'll also have the image files, which I'll back up to my server. So I'll have three different copies and that's exactly what I want. And that's it. If, if any of these fail, you can just put in a brand new card with your image on it and it should work flawlessly. And that's how you can back up and clone your micro SD cards using that simple method there. Now this works on different types of media as well. It works on micro SD cards, SD cards, and things like that. So if you do have a device that you want to clone uh, the image of, then that's how you can do it. And of course, it's always good to have backups, especially some of these cards that they use in these devices are not top notch cards and they can fail at any time and you'll have a backup of them. So you can just quickly get back up and running without any problems. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.